so Dura and I are on our summer holidays. We're actually staying in Morvik in Conteo for about 10 nights in the caravan and motorhome course site. So it's quite late. We drove up yesterday, um, a long drive obviously from home, and um, I was pretty knackered. Didn't wake up till the back of nine this morning. So it's actually about half 12, but it's such a lovely day. I've decided to go up Ben Fada and it's about six or seven hours according to Walk Highland, so plenty of time. Um, so really looking forward to it. And the hills look clear. So it's just a lovely area. I'm really impressed with the, the site. Um, that's the kind of the outdoor centre there. Mountain Rescue, hopefully I won't need them. But it's really nice. That's a lovely view looking back down the glen towards Loch Duich and Morvik where we started and you just cut off down there um, and along there for the Falls of Glomach on an earlier um, video on YouTube we did a glass bend, a Monroe that goes up the same path and then we went down the other side of the Monroe and down to the Falls of Glomach so that's a good walk as well, but it's a long day. And you can just probably just see the path um, heading up. It goes up quite high towards the Falls of Glomach. Um, so it's lovely. Sunglasses are steaming up. It's really warm, but not as warm as it's been. So it's probably about 17, 18 degrees. So it's a bit more pleasant. Um, this is a lovely and um, well-made path. And Juro's got off the lead, so she's quite happy. Uh, no cows. There's a lot of cows in this path. Um, the last time I was here, so I'm quite glad about that. So we just head up this glen, probably for a couple of miles, um, and then do a wee river crossing. So I'll bring you back later. So really enjoying it so far. of me. It's about 20 past two, so I'm going to stop here for lunch, but it's just beautiful. We cross the river here, um, and then there's a few zigzags heading up towards the Dilach. It's a lovely waterfall. There's a nice wee pool there for Dura to have a swim in. It's just gorgeous. There's somebody ahead of me. I don't know if you can see them just heading up towards the Dilach. So this is still the route for both these Monroes, Ben Fada and Aglas Ben. But the path um, splits further up and we're heading along here. Um, I think there's a wee cairn marks the junction. But I don't know how to pronounce the Bielach up there. It looks like Bielach and Skirney. Um, we don't go up there to Ben Fada, but there's a beautiful view over the other side. You can see the Glen Affric windows. Um, 
so I'm not sure what hell the guy in front's doing but it's just lovely here last time I was here there was lots of biting insects but I've not got that today which is great there's lots of butterflies Jira's doing a bit of chasing with them and I think that might be Ben Fada or a bit of Ben Fada up there um, so we're not that high here it's probably about 300 metres um, but hey ho it's all good all I'll say is thank goodness for zigzags so that's the path we've come up there's a couple just heading down that's the river crossing kind of down there where we had lunch um, you might be able to see the path all the way sort of down the lane so it's a wee bit cooler up here thankfully but it's pretty hot hard work I was like, trying to get my poles out to cross the river and I can only get one pole extended the other one's stuck I met a nice old gent but he couldn't dislodge it either so one pole's better than no poles so this is the little junction here and um, we're heading up this way to Ben Fada and that way up there is to Haglas Ben and the Bealach up there and Jura's got boundless energy she's still diving about it almost uh, it doesn't do her any good to put her on the lead either because she just pulls 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 so it exhausts her either way but uh, she'll be fine I guess this is a an easier hill than some of the ones we've done so onward looks fab up there I'm glad we've got a bit of height now just amazing big rock just to shake in the view we're at the top of the quarry now and I can see the ridge of uh, Ben Fada behind me you might be able to see that um, it's just beautiful wow so this is the start of the ridge I think heading up um, right along there I was trying to work out the hills over there I'm not sure I think I can see Alpbeath Youth Hostel away down in the valley and these will be um, the Glen Affric Monroes I think that's the three that you drew from Alpbeath um, that's a glass of Ben up um, there lovely lovely I don't know if you can see that up there, I think that's a golden eagle. Amazing. It's right above my head. That's a big bird for you to chase, Jura.
so we're just away to head down now took some photos had a wee snack and um, i've just been picking out all the hills i've done really this year and um, i can see see Stu. i don't know if you'll be able to make it out just in the distance and the corbett and the tack uh, that we came up <laughs> to us <laughs> playing about there i think she's too hot <laughs> Um, and that must be the Brothers Ridge um, beside the Seas too. So the Brothers Ridge are there, which we've also done this, this, this year as well. Um, there are so many hills and can tell. Um, it's just beautiful. You can see um, Loch Afric way down there in the distance. Gorgeous. It's a great um, big sheltered cairn there, if the weather wasn't good, we didn't need to use it. There's just something magical here. There's not, a, not really much wind at all, it's just lovely. I'm the only one up here, which is a wee bit daunting. It's about uh, five, just after five. Quite a few people pass me on the road down. I'll just take my time going down. Make sure I don't trip. This is amazing. The views are opening up to the sea. Actually, I think I can see Rassi. I think that's the. Is it Dun Can on Rassi? I think I can see that a wee over there. Must be sky behind it and the cloud. Isn't it lovely. Lovely, lovely. You're all tangled up. Look at you. Look at you. It's all tangled round here. You've got me tangled up too. <laughs> you had a good day, Jura. She's just been in her element. This is number 12 Monroe for her. What a good one it's been. Number 12. I keep losing count. I think it's 244 for me. So 38 to go. Yay, two goals again. That's us just coming back to the campsite. It's been a lovely day and a gorgeous night. So that seemed like a long walk back, but no cows, thankfully. Um, so it's just just before eight o'clock. So we're going to go and get some tea on. And I think Jura definitely needs a wash. She's uh, been in all the smelly bogs you can imagine. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful night. Thank you. 